Alright, what's going on? So, today's episode, one i really been looking forward to. Yeah? Yep. What is it? Calico. Oh, she, she laid her eggs, she hatched her eggs, and we're about to show the things that hatched out of the eggs. It's funny that you say just she. Well, I know who she is. <laughs> so. I don't care about the rest of them. <laughs> yep. That's why everybody makes a big deal out of Mother's Day, not Father's Day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody cares. The Calico. She she is the Calico. She is very special. Yes. Yep. So, um, if you're not familiar with her, let me just go ahead and grab her and bring mm-hmm. her out. Hey. All right. So, this is... Um, the Calico. The Calico. Look so, how big she is. And she literally just laid eggs like 60 days ago. Yep. So, beautiful. Um, this is a pastel Calico from the old F&F lines. Does F and F stand for Fast and Furious? Flora and Fauna. Flora and Fauna. I mean, look so, at look how amazing that is. Yep. I've done a couple of videos on her, but just to recap, this girl is probably twelve to fifteen years old. Mm-hmm. Um, absolutely gorgeous. We have a uh, waiting list on this girl every year for babies, and um, just one one of everybody's favorites. I mean, she's so, just pretty. Let me give you a little bit of history on this girl as okay. far as what she normally does. Um, she likes to give us a bunch of males. Mm-hmm. Usually, uh, we only get one or two or three uh, females from her every year. And uh, this year was no exception to that. We got a bunch of males again. Um, and she also doesn't give us very many calicos. And as crazy as it seems... Um, that has been her history for about eight years that I've been breeding her. Mm -hmm. Um, it's always usually very male heavy and very few calicos. What I have noticed though is her offspring does not do that. Okay. So So it's just her. (laughs) It's just her for whatever reason. Um, I'm, I was really hoping and uh, really thinking that this year may be the year that changes that, but Hey, maybe it's next year. She gives us all females. I don't know. But uh, statistically, this girl likes to give us boys Mm -hmm. and very few calicos. And that's one of the reasons um, why people desire this line is because it's so hard to get one. And, I mean, it's just... I agree. She's gorgeous. It's a fantastic line. So This is one of those uh, animals that's probably never leaving. No. Yeah. I've uh, I've contemplated. Uh, Matter of fact, you could ask our buddy Daniel. Mm -hmm. He, He made me a solid offer on her a couple of years ago, and I... Thought about it, and I just couldn't do it. Um, I even told Brittany earlier this year, yeah, uh, right before these babies hatched, I was like, yeah, I might sell her this year. And then the babies hatch out, and I'm like, nah. no. There's no reason to. <laughs> so, all right, so no now you've seen her. Let's look at what she was paired to. How about that? How about that? Wait, no, that ain't. That's the weirdest looking calico I've ever seen. <laughs> So this is our OD Inchi Hypo Pied male. Okay. And he does not want to unball for us. Because he's doing what ball pythons do. But uh, this is what she was paired to. So this is dad to the clutch that you're about to see. And I will say that this is definitely one of the best OD Inchi Hypo Pieds out there. Um, he was produced by our buddy Jason Kittinger at Kittinger Reptiles. That's right. So, uh, good so, quality stock so we're about here. to see something cool all right so without further ado let's look at the clutch all right so like craig just uh said while the camera wasn't rolling this entire clutch is double hit hypo pod that's right so what we visually can see is pastel calico od and inchy that's right everything's double hit hypo pod so Let's start with the basics, because that's just what everybody has to do on YouTube. And she gave you a mess of them. That is an OD. So we have a single gene OD. I get asked quite frequently about how you ID OD. Well, this is how you ID it. It's OD. That's right there. (laughs) See it? The black is normally blacker, and you get these uh, really nice orange. Uh, Usually you have some, um, almost like the tiger resemblance on the tail Mm -hmm. and you get that really good orange so that is a single gene od you want to stick that in your pocket pocket. all right next up we'll put up a normal that's a male by the way the od is a a male 
This is a normal. A normal, a classic, a retro, a vintage, whatever you want to call it. How do you ID a normal? Well, well it's normal. It looks like a normal. So. If it doesn't look normal to you, then it's probably not normal. There you go. And so. all you people that think your normal is something other than a normal, it's not. It's just normal. <laughs> All right, this is a hmm, pastel. Yep. Maybe pastel. No, just pastel. Pastel. So the normal was a male, OD's a male, pastel, male. So while we're here, let's just show off for a little learning purposes. What's the difference in a pastel and a pastel OD? Uh, the OD has OD in it. Yep. So it makes it peachy. So there is your visual difference between a pastel and a pastel OD. Definitely have more orange on the pastel OD. So, all right. So uh, these are males again. Whew. Let's see. Running out of hands. Running out of hands. It's okay. I got big hands. We'll do this. All right. Stop so squirming. These are all of the non calicos. Okay. So these are all non calicos. These are all non calicos. Okay. So luckily this year we got five calicos from her. Okay. And that never happens. Like so. this is the most calicos that we've ever produced from her since I've had her. Okay. And not only did we get five, but three of them are girls. There you go. <laughs> so there you we go. got two boys and three girls with calico. Is there a super version of a calico? Uh, supposedly there mm -hmm. is a super version, but it's a lot like leopard or pinstripe where the super version doesn't really look any different. It just always throws, calico. always throws calicos and with it being called a calico and she gives you nothing but, you know, what girl ones you said? Uh, she normally gives us males. Male ones. That's the kind of backwards in the calico and the, and the other from thing. the cats. Yeah. From the cats. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying. Figured that's where you were going. That's where I was going. So, all right. So first up is a calico double head hypopod male. So that means the only gene in this is calico. Yep. So that looks like a normal calico. This is a single gene calico, calico. that's double head for hypopod. This guy is being picked up by our newest member of the HWE family, Miss Brittany. Very nice. How cool. So something about calico that you need to remember, and I'm gonna show this to you mm -hmm. at the end of the show, or in this episode is how much the white increases. Right now it's kind of pink looking, mm -hmm. not super white, you know, just kind of, meh, it's there, but not really anything crazy. But, so, the, but the older it gets, she's, it's eventually gonna be similar to her. There you go. Got it. So I'm gonna show you one of last year's offspring, um, but we'll get to that in just a second. All right, so next up are the pastel calico. Oh, I like these. All right, so visually, obviously, these are way cooler. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, no doubt. It's because they got pastel. The pastel makes them pop. So this one is a male. So this is a pastel calico. Uh, these look very much OD to me. Okay. Um, so these very much possibly could be maybe kind of looking like it, whatever you want to call it. I think these are pastel calico ODs. But OD is not important here. We're talking about calico. So this is a girl. I am keeping this. Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all heard it right. Since y'all all say that I hate pastel, mm -hmm. I am keeping a pastel. This is a pastel calico double hit hypopod possible OD girl. And then Miss Trina Holyfield has real deal. Yep, yep. She has. Um, she was on the list for this guy. Okay. So she's getting this one, and we're keeping this one. Congratulations. So really cool. All right. Next up. Is that one? Which one? This is, you want to guess it, Craig? Uh, that is going to be an inchy orange dream calico. No OD. No OD, so it's an inchy calico. Yep, inchy calico. So the calico is making it look peachy to me for the orange yep. dream. Exactly. So very, again, you get this very light pink color. Um, but again, as these things age, they're really, really going to pop with that white. Mm -hmm. So this is a girl. And our good friends at Bushveld Reptiles, Mr. Warren, mm -hmm. um, has talked me out of this one. So she will be going to the, the uh, Bushveld Reptiles. So 
uh, facility. So really cool, uh, very unique girl. This was very hard to let go of this one. Sure, I know so. <laughs> because I really like the calico and the hypo pod project, and the inchy with the pod is going to bring all that pattern back. So it was really difficult for me to give up this girl because I knew that the inchy was so beneficial with pod. Mm -hmm. But I can't keep them all. And this last girl. That was nice. You yeah. just can't get rid of this. No. <laughs> so because I can't keep them all, I'm keeping two. I want to keep three or four, but you can't. I you, just can't keep them you all. You can't. So guess what this one is? Uh, that one is inchy. That one is Orange Dream. That one is Calico. No inchy. Why is there no inchy in this one? Yeah, I don't know. It's so, just not. <laughs> so this is just Calico Orange Dream? That's just Calico OD. So inchy, actually, Calico is kind of eating it, but the inchy normally bands this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just not going to be able to tell. Now it's that pretty. I'm looking at it, they might be Cal it might be inchy too. See, I might be right. It might be. I don't it know. It might be. Doesn't matter. I know for sure that OD and Calico are, is definitely in this one. And you know for sure you're keeping that one. So I am definitely keeping this one. So I just feel like there's not Inchy in this, mm -hmm. and I don't know why. Uh, it does look very similar to that one, but I think it's more the Calico. Mm -hmm. I think Calico is just making just eating these, away at it, making these look similar. But I'm digging the pattern on it. So. This one is in for sure OD Calico double head hypo pot. Okay. Well, guess what? Last year, the only female that she gave me last year <coughs> out of 10 or 11 eggs. The guess, same thing. Guess what it was? The same thing. It's an OD Calico double head. No, excuse me. It's an OD Calico head DG female. Oh, really? So now I have an OD Calico double head hypo pod girl mm -hmm. from our favorite Calico. That's right. And then last year, she gave me an OD Calico Het DG girl. Okay. So, I am going to grab her so that you can see what one year difference is in visual look. One year difference in Tony world, not Craig world. 